Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Time to sit up and take note for a very important discussion as we hone in on 16 days of activism against abuse against women and children. Now, the old adage, sticks and stones can break my bones, but wounds will never hurt me, gets thrown out the window when those words are coming from your partner, someone that you trust, someone that you love. Now, Dr. Eve is back with us to talk about how to deal with verbal abuse. I'm going to say it again, verbal abuse abuse in your relationship as we continue important discussions during our period of 16 days of activism of no violence against women and children. But first, let's set the scene. We asked our Expresso couples where they think the line between healthy arguments and verbal abuse actually is. Hi, I'm Afsana. Hi, I'm Peter. And we've been dating for over two years. Hi, my name's Quaid. Hi, I'm Cameron, and we are dating for three years in April. Hi, my name is Olueto. I'm Zoe. And we have been dating for one year, eight months. Where is the line between healthy argument and verbal abuse? The line there is if you're belittling the other person mm -hmm. or demeaning them in some way where it becomes hurtful mm -hmm. and cruel. There's no such thing as an argument. It's always a discussion in my books. I think that's why the thing of, are we fighting, are we not? But we're actually just discussing. It's healthy, is the way that I understand it, is being able to articulate yourself without having to add in access emotion, um, being overly dramatic or being irrational in your answer. Yeah, I think that verbal abuse, the signs of that are when voices are raised, uh, when there's anger. And I think healthy discussion is devoid of that. It's honest, it's unemotional, it could be tough, but I think with respect for the other person, then you stay on the lines of healthy discussion. Thank you so much to our Expresso couples um, speaking the truth there right from the heart. Yeah. We'd love to hear from you as well. 83 728 Do you think you're abusive, verbally abusive? Are you suffering at the hands of verbal abuse? Yeah. Very interesting question. Such an important discussion to have because mm. it kind of blankets everyone. We all suffer from the human condition. We all get upset, we get hurt, we get angry. And that seems to be yeah. the big thing. When does an <coughs> argument in your mind become verbal abuse? I think we've got to make a difference between conflict and verbal abuse. It's healthy to have conflict. It's okay to be having a volatile relationship. It's really more the content and the tone of what is being expressed. So verbal abuse definitely is emotional abuse as well. And the people who are watching us right now know that. They know that they feel a certain way when there's certain expressions or when there's certain languages that is used. People really need to be able to feel that and say, I feel uncomfortable with that. It's making me step back a little. In a conflict situation, you may be stepping forward and saying, OK, let's talk about this, let's fight about this, let's even yell and scream about this. But if it becomes the language, I keep saying that, Graham, yeah, then the one has to watch yeah. that a whole lot. So verbal abuse takes a whole lot of different forms. It wouldn't just be what you would know, the, the obvious one. It's just the name calling of somebody. It generally means somebody feels out of control and it becomes a power imbalance in a relationship where I'm feeling so anxious or I have such low self-esteem myself that I am going to be saying things or behaving in a certain way towards you to try and cover up, form, exactly, yeah. to try and cover up my low self-esteem or my indecisiveness mm -hmm. and my ambivalence that I have about myself in the world and I'm going to thrash it out at you. We talk about something called the four horsemen and I've spoken about it before mm. on the show. For, for viewers to be able to get an idea of really am I in a verbally, emotionally abusive relationship. So it will start with some criticism like, you're so sensitive, you never clean up properly, or you don't really know how to cook, or you always are doing that to me, or because of you, I'm always late for work. You know, the criticism that sits there. Then it goes to the second horseman, which is called contempt, where it's name calling. You think you're so precious, or you really, really look very unattractive in that. Or you're always flirting. You're such a flirt. Or you're somebody who's so nasty to everybody. Or Character people are saying this yeah. about you. Exactly, that kind of thing. And what happens then, and you will begin to feel it for yourself, if that is continuous and ongoing, you begin to go into something which is called stonewalling, which is you just shut down. And you're not be able to be yeah. responsive to this other person. 
And then the final horseman jumps right in, and which is, huh. I'm out of here. So you may be physically present, but you as a victim are just like completely unavailable and you it's shut down and you freeze. And that's where the emotional abuse happens because you begin to feel so badly about yourself and you question yourself. Then you know, I am in a verbally abusive relationship. So to come back to your original question, <laughs> <laughs> there is a difference between conflict and abuse. And it comes down to how do I feel when I'm with this person? Am I being edited? Am I being controlled? Am I feeling that whatever I'm saying is being questioned? I don't feel good about myself. There is language coming to me. There's name calling coming to me. And I feel really uncomfortable in myself. I think we're going we're gonna to give it a moment for people to actually absorb that and yes. really think about your situation currently in your own relationship. Is the relationship abusive? Are there people that are abusive within that? Very interesting dynamic to chat about, but we need you guys to weigh into the conversation. 083 That's the number to dial. We'll continue chatting to Dr. Eve in just a moment right now. Let's get back to the kitchen.